team got their first postseason win since 2010 thanks to some clutch performances. In the first half against Southern Illinois Edwardsville, it was all EIU forward Chris Olivier as he gets the dish from Trey Anderson and slams it down. More dunks to come as Olivier does it again, still in the first as his defender falls to the ground. And on to the second half for Ohio Valley Conference Freshman of the Year, Cornell Johnston drains his first three of many to come as he went five for six from the beyond the arc, ending the, his night in Nashville with 22 points. Olivier led the team with 24 as the Panthers got the 78-66 win, moving on to play Belmont tonight at 8 in the quarterfinals. Lakeland men's basketball goes for a quarterfinal win tonight as well when they played John A. Logan College. Lakeland lost a close one in the last time these two teams met, but the, momentum, but the Lakers have the momentum on their side. Lakers picked up a 59-46 victory against Southeastern Illinois in the first round of the Region 24 tournament earlier this week. It'll be an uphill battle for Lakeland when these teams hit the court at 6, as the Lakers haven't beaten the Volunteers at all this season. While the postseason is here for some teams, others are trying to finish out the regular season strong. University of Illinois men's basketball team moves to 19-11 on the year with a 69-57 win against the University of Nebraska last night. The Illini still have a chance to make it to the big dance if they get a convincing win at Purdue Saturday. Now on the women's side, a different story. They have to win the Big Ten tournament to get in, and it starts tonight. The women will take the number seven seed Nebraska, a team they haven't beat all season. The game starts at 6, and if the Illini get the win, they move on to play second-ranked University of Iowa tomorrow. A conference championship came as no surprise for the Parkland women's basketball team, and now they're on the hunt for more. Starting the regional quarterfinal tournament, where they looked like the number one seed, as they took down Lincoln College Wednesday night 85-25. to As for the semifinal game against Lakeland Saturday, if they get the win, the Cobras move to 31-1 on the season. Indiana State women's basketball is determined to bring home a W and get some revenge against Missouri State. Last night, the Sycamores beat Evansville by 18 points, and that's the kind of point spread they're hoping for this evening against the Bears. Last time ISU and Missouri State hit the paint two months ago, Sycamores lost by eight. Tonight could be a different ball game as the Sycamores' leading scorer, Raquel Mann, has a good night. She averages about 12 points per game, and tip-off is at seven. Casey Westfield Warriors are looking to continue to break records after earning their first regional championship in 75 years. Casey boys take on Nokomis tomorrow at 7 for the sectional championship after beating Patoka last night. The Warriors will rely heavily on guards Cody Hollinsby and Trey Thompson, both score double digits against Patoka. Postseason ba basketball can only mean one thing, yep, baseball is here. The St. Louis Cardinals started their day with a 4-1 win against the Miami Marlins. The Chicago White Sox lost to the L.A. Dodgers 6-1, while the Cubs split their squad, losing to the San Francisco Giants 8-6 and tying the Oakland Athletics 2-2. It won't be as warm as Florida or Arizona, but when Braden Harp returns, he'll have details on a 7-day forecast that could have you wanting to get outside for your own spring training games. Before that, a woman in Japan celebrates a milestone 117 years in the making. Stay tuned to News Watch on WEIU.